so today we will start with frames okay so here i go so exactly uh, how i define frame is it is uh, generally a stationary thing but at, they are used to support loads so far even uh, what you have studied is trusses trusses also used to support loads but in this case there is a bit of difference that at least one of the member which is which should be a multi force member multi force member here i mean is more than two forces earlier case in case of truss what you saw uh, just a sec let me draw a bit yes so this is let us say a link so what you saw it has just two forces and forces were aligned along the length of this link okay if this is a member the forces are directed directly along this okay so this was there but in this case you may have force which are not aligned to this and there can be multiple forces which can come on it or from it it can be there so it can support load or it can even uh, bear some sort of external load so this is what is an multi force member so this is an additional thing that you can see in case of frames okay so this is how it is defined and in case of machine these are also a similar construction thing but they are designed to do something else okay they are not supposed to carry load forever they are not stationary they may be uh, there may be some parts in it which can move okay they contains moving parts they are designed to transmit or alter the effect of forces alter the effect of forces it can even transmit motion it cannot just uh, just transmit uh, force from one end to the other rather it can also transmit motion so both things can happen simultaneously okay yes okay then so next multi force member as i have just now drawn it can have three or more force okay or two or more forces with one or more couple it can even have more than two forces okay and one couple can be there in between okay so you may have a link which is supported somewhere over here and it can have a load which is something like this so you will have a moment here okay and you can have support at this end so it can have a moment it has a reaction force here it has reaction force here so it can be a this can be give, uh, written as a defined as a multi force member so this is how it is defined generally the force in the multi force member is not along the direction of those members it is not along the direction that means earlier we saw the force forces were along the member so this is not generally true in case of multi force member few important notes which are there method is generally used to analyze trusses analyze truss are not applicable here how we analyze truss is method of joint method of section section they may not be applicable here this is very very important assumptions for an ideal link is extended here as well okay we have extended uh, same assumption what we assume is links were massless okay they were slender slender means the width of the link width of the link is very very small as compared to its length okay so that is what i mean by uh, they are slender okay so these are few assumptions which we will follow again okay but uh, we cannot analyze this as we analyzed our trusses okay so how we'll do it we'll do step wise okay analysis uh, of interconnected rigid body can be uh, done in two ways based on two different type of structures that we see in this case these structures uh, okay the structures that are rigid body in itself can be defined as if they are removed from the supports like say this one okay 
what do you see this is a a frame which is pinned over here and it is having a roller joint at this end okay and it is supporting a load which is given by p over this end this is quite okay fine but what i see there is a interconnection between this okay what this itself is making is making this whole of this structure a rigid body is it not because it is non deformable when it is taken out of the support that means if it is plugged out of this floor on which it is grouted what do you see you see what this frame itself cannot be collapsed cannot be collapsed that means whole of this is a rigid body it cannot be collapsed okay so uh, in this case we evaluate all the external forces on the structure the way we did it considering the frame as a single rigid body okay as a single body so we can easily find out the reaction forces uh, what i'll show here one draw once here again the way we used to do it applies here also let us say uh, because it is a pin joint it will have two reaction forces this will have one reaction force and you have uh, you can easily find out force and moment balance equation considering this structure as a rigid structure got it so using that if i let us say if i take a, a moment about this point so this reaction force creates a couple oh sorry moment and this also forms a moment and using moment balance this reaction force can easily be obtained same way if i balance all the vertical and the horizontal forces uh, i can easily get what is ay and ax got it so this is how you do it okay uh, if at all this structure is rigid and it is non collapsible so that method applies here as well now using free body diagram yes बिल्कुल हो सकता है ना यस इट कैन बी डन दैट इज व्हाट विल कम टू इट ओके विल कम टू दैट पॉइंट नॉट दैट इट इज यू कैन इजीली सी यू कैन सी इट नो इफ आई एम फिक्सिंग दीज टू पॉइंट दिस दिस लेंथ इज फिक्स दिस लेंथ इज फिक्स दिस लेंथ इज फिक्स लिंक्स आर नॉट फ्लेक्सिबल सो ओवरऑल दिस स्ट्रक्चर इज फिक्स इज इट नॉट बट एज सुन एज आई रिमूव the link which is here it becomes a collapsible it will just be a a frame with a hinge over here if i remove it from the base okay so it is a collapsible structure so it is easily visible okay so now using free body diagram equilibrium condition on each member to evaluate their forces now uh, what we'll do we'll find out the equilibrium condition for each now that all the links are in equilibrium in itself so whatever forces that act on the link okay that act on the link so let us say i am taking left most side uh, this link so there is a force that should come from here there is a reaction force which may be generated out here there are two reaction forces which were already there so all the forces all the forces together when it is acting on this body is making this in equilibrium so equilibrium condition can be applied on this link itself so free body diagram can be drawn and i can evaluate the forces which are acting on the member and within the link whatever is the forces that generate okay so that all we can find out so this is the way we approach for non collapsible structure secondly there is a different type of structure which is called collapsible structure okay so here uh, you found it right yes so now that there is no in between in between there is no link over here so this is collapsible if you take it out from the ground what will happen it can collapse but at the same time this structure sub structure which is fitted on top of this frame is a rigid one doesn't matter overall the system is not a rigid body in itself okay and then the analysis method differs from the way we analyze 
non collapsible structure okay so now individual members are analyzed using fbd first individual members can be analyzed using free body diagram first each then external support reactions are evaluated after that we will find out support reactions we go otherwise okay how it is done we'll see more through examples now okay how that is possible first you have to go for fbd and then you can attempt for the reaction forces those are external reaction forces okay so this is little uh, different way we approach this we attempted earlier for frames also for trusses also so okay let us see then okay okay so steps for solving frames as i have said draw free body diagram of the entire frame calculate the reaction at the supports at the supports okay so for this this uh, pole light or maybe a hanger you can see forces reaction forces something like this if it is a rope okay it can be like this okay these are external forces is it not and rest everything is internal forces so reactions at the support can be easily found this is an external force supports are this and this okay next this member this member the frame and draw free body diagram of each part this member means you have to plug it out from the floor from all the supports okay now you can see this something like this all the external forces they are acting on different members you can dismember the frame and draw free body diagram of each part use external forces those are calculated in the first step okay as we have used so now this looks like this we'll move ahead we'll start with any two force members two force members first we'll attempt with two force members first so any member that you see over here is clearly a two force member which one all members have multiple forces the only member that i see is this one is it not this has got only two force which are acting on it okay first is due to joint at a another one due to joint at b so it is a two force member okay so other other members have one two and three force this one also have one two three and four forces okay forces here i mean it is a combination of ax and ay so effectively it is just a okay so it has multiple forces other than link eb all have multiple so is you have to start with a member which has got just two forces because you know if you create force and moment balance equation you can solve as many as two two forces so that is the reason we started with that okay apply two equal and opposite forces to that at the point of connection forces will be equal and opposite if at all it is in compression this member eb member it will either have forces like this or it will have forces like this is it not so two equal both of them will be equal because they this link itself is in equilibrium so it has to be applied by an external force which is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction so that is the reason we do that that is what may be the unknown one at the point of connection you have to apply either tension or com compression okay if the force member is straight forces will be directed along the axis of member okay if the forces are straight the point which connects e and b force will be along that direction itself okay so these things are quite trivial we'll see through example also don't worry so now consider the multiple force member using that you now start with multiple force member like this one or this one this you have already considered earlier okay so now external and internal forces you show them all okay forces from two force member and other multi force member is also shown so forces that act on it due to two force member 
and other member like this that is acting at this they are all shown so all the individual forces are shown use horizontal and vertical components to represent the internal forces got it so this is how we'll attempt we'll see through example again okay internal forces may now be determined using equilibrium condition to simplify seek equations with single variables okay so you have to start with equations which has single variables then go to two force members then jump to multi force members so that should be the order how we attempt to solve the equations the point where all but one of the unknown force components intersect all equations in single unknowns can be obtained by summing moments at that joint we will see through example okay immediately if all the unknown forces except one are parallel the equation in the single unknown can be obtained by summing forces in direction perpendicular to the parallel axis okay and uh, last uh, lastly the forces were arbitrary chosen arbitrary chosen means if you don't you cannot estimate what could be the direction of this you can arbitrarily choose the direction it will automatically come in the results in case of multiple force members it becomes very difficult to estimate uh, beforehand that what will be the direction of force okay so you have to wait till the solution is obtained to get those values okay so you have freedom to choose the direction okay okay now uh, for efficient approach solve the equation with single unknown as i have said then solve pair of simultaneous equations that means with two unknowns two equations if it is there solve them first take uh, total number of equation will be larger than unknown in this case you will see that you are going to form more number of equations actually than number of unknowns which are there okay so what you can do with some extra equations they can be used to recalculate the same variable from a different route and verify them if they should be uh, they should be equal or not okay if they are equal you went all correct otherwise you have done some error okay so this is how it is going to help you the this will demonstrate by example which comes next okay so we'll start with first example of frames okay yes please okay then so where were we we came till this point so okay we started with the numerical this one okay first frame i hope all the concepts are clear okay so now we can jump to this example so what i assume don't forget it is a rigid non collapsible assembly of three members why it is non collapsible even if you remove remove this structure of link from a and b okay overall this whole of this structure is not going to deform agree with this very good so now this is rigid non collapsible three members again which is the first member a c e a c e first one b c d second one and e d that is the third member okay so there is one two force member this one this is the only two force member rest others are three force members okay so we move ahead we draw free body diagram of the entire structure okay and we do force balance first okay so this is a extracted form of our structure okay force balance along y will give me what so you see you have a force which is acting vertically downwards is here and there is only one force which is vertically upward is this so both should be same if it is downward that has to be in the upward direction so ay is 480 newton done first part we did it so we found out a1 so all the unknowns are there unknowns are because this is a roller joint there will be only one reaction force at b 
okay and a is a pin join there won't be any moment you remember there will be two forces ax and ay of which ay is found out now moving to next taking moment about a taking moment about a so what all the forces that can be found out i see if i take moment about a one of the variable will be not there in the equation which one ax because it passes through a itself okay so only force that is unknown and it is visible in the equation is b so that is the reason i took moment about a so taking that what i see minus 480 into 100 this was the distance this is the force okay and then b into 160 b into 160 so this is quite clear so b comes out to be 300 newton so b is also found out going to next i am balancing all the horizontal components now this is one of the horizontal components there is no other horizontal component okay if if b is in this direction ax that we have assumed in this direction has to be in this direction why because overall this system is in equilibrium so ax will be directed opposite to b so that is how it is indicated by negative sign over here as our assumption okay so these three forces that means all the external force is now found out again you see you have also uh, seen this this is statically determinate what does it mean it is not supported by more number of supports than desired there is no uh, extra number of supports it is not supported something like this okay and it is not loaded in a different way uh, which is making it unsolved so anyway so this is uh, statically determinate you can use our formula to find out but it is not required so far okay so now find out the angle that is required for further process okay so uh, the angle which is rest everything is rectangular in shape wherever i want to find the force this is the one which is unknown i want to find out so it is simply uh, this by this should be alpha alpha is equal to 28.07 degree again your calculator can be better than me but yes it is for me it is 28.07 okay units are in newton and mm stick to it don't change in between okay now i have isolated one of the members. okay one of the member that is b c and d put all the forces this was 300 newton which we found out through a method which was done earlier this is an external force which it is supporting this is something that we want to find out because it is a pin joint it will have two forces direction of that is arbitrarily chosen i don't know where it is directed so i have arbitrarily kept it along this okay there is just one force that will come at this and because it is a two force member and connected with a pin joint force will be directed along the line connecting e and d quite clear so that is the reason it is alpha so fd is inclined at an angle alpha from the horizontal so everything is known now i'll take moment about c moment about c why i took started with c because two of the forces they pass through that point itself okay so i am left with just one unknown so taking the components taking the moments equating to zero im immediately gives me this so fd is known okay it is compression it is not as assumed it was assumed as if it is in tension it is pulling point d but actually it is not it is pressing point d so it is in compression okay again forces along x forces along x i am trying to balance along x okay so this is your x direction this was your y direction so how it comes out to be so horizontal cx c x is the unknown that is what we want to find out 
f d will have a cosine component which is along this and you have 300 newton that comes like this so effectively you found out c x is equal to this that again came out in a opposite direction to the one as it is assumed here c x is assumed like this answer it came something like this so anyway so it is 795 newton in magnitude okay so along x it is then i'll go along y again why there is yes somebody you should mute yourself okay so this is cy that is vertically upward vertically downward 480 newton and this component that we have found out has a vertical component which is like this okay minus 561 sin 28.07 degree so effectively this gives me cy as we have assumed cy is directed where we have assumed it is 216 newton so all the forces that comes on this member is now found out cx cy fd okay this was already found okay so all the members this whole member is now solved now i'll look for another member another member which is something like this if you can uh, if you want me to put the figure back so on this time i'll consider this member this is another member okay so coming here so what do i see i have already found out this force okay i have already found out this and this using earlier uh, solutions okay this was the value of this is known value of this is known cx and cy were also known so now everything over here is known okay again but in order to find uh, this is just a verification that you can do yes it is a type of verification if you want this this gives me moment at a equal to 0 okay this gives me if i substitute not at i know all the forces okay i have taken moment about a using those forces and i found it is coming equal to 0 that means it is just a verification that what we have found out using earlier equations are correct okay i hope uh, till here it is correct okay so uh, as i have said uh, you will see more number of equation as desired okay because you have lesser number of unknowns as compared to number of equation that you can form okay so this is the reason the last moment balance equation was just a check to see if we went all okay so what i have used i have used all the forces those were calculated earlier and substituted them used this member now okay this member to calculate moment at a and i got equal to zero that means it is not moving that is the way it should be okay so hope this is also quite clear so moving ahead to next example hope this is quite okay if at all you have any query you can ask fine so i hope this is quite clear so we'll move ahead okay so there is another problem okay another problem of frames okay how it is connected you see it is all the distances are given 1 meter 1 meter 1 meter 1 meter this is 2.4 meter you have 3 kN force which is coming from the top and both the joints both the joints are pin joint okay again this whole structure you see is a non collapsible structure is it a trapezium a trapezium is a non collapsible structure okay so this is forming a trapezium okay so that also is a non collapsible structure okay and this this structure in itself is non collapsible because this is a stiff member this is a stiff member these two distance between these two points is not going to change okay so overall this whole structure is a non collapsible structure so what do you see 
you see there are unknowns which are E x E y reactions at E, F x F y reactions at F and F a b, F a b this is to be found out and F c d is to be found out. That means basically we want to find out these two forces which are there in members, rest are reaction forces. Okay? So, we move ahead. Uh, yes, uh, there is some error it seems. This is 1 meter, 1 meter, 1 meter, 1 meter. So, this is 4 meter. Okay, done. Rest everything is fine. So, only EY and FY can be determined among 4 reactions. Why only Y forces can be found out? Why not X? Yeah, there is an external force also. There is an external force. We will see as it goes. Okay. We will see as it goes. Yes, it is over, uh, over constrained actually. Over constrained. So, that is why we cannot point. If it is one place, if it is a roller joint, it is quite good constrained system. You have a over constrained system. That means you have two over here and two over here. Okay. If it is a planar system, it should not be more than three constraints because you have to restrict x motion, you have to restrict y motion, and you have to restrict rotary motion along z. So, x, y, and rotary about z. But effectively, in order to constrain three, it is having four constraints. It is constraining x motion, y motion, x motion and y motion. So, you have double constraint, one additional constraint. So, that is what? So, that it is over constraint system. So, anyway, internal forces should be doable. Let us see if it is possible. Okay. So, at least we quickly can find out few forces. So, now I will take what? Uh, I want to reduce the forces immediately what I have chosen any of these points. So, I have arbitrarily chosen E as the point about which moment equal to 0. Okay, So, what I have done Me is equal to 0 that gives me 3 kilo Newton. So, forces are in kilo Newton, distance are in meter 3 into this distance that is 4 Okay, and 2.4. 2.4 is this distance into Fy. Is it correct? So, Fy is obtained. If Fy is whatever, 5 kilo Newton, Ey will also be the same because there is no other vertical force which is acting on this point. Okay, so the, both of them should be equal and opposite. Is it not? So, that is why Y direction forces were easily doable. Okay, but I don't know how the loads are shared among Ex and Fx. So anyway, leave that because it is not asked. Also, we'll move on. We'll break this system into intermediate, uh, uh, small, small members. Okay, so free body diagram of ACE, ACE. So that means the first vertical member, A, C, and E. Okay, you already know. E y ok. This F C D slope is known, F A B slope is known, this force is known. So, if I form an equation, if I form an equation what I will get? Summation F y is equal to 0, net vertical force should be equal to 0 because it is not moving vertically. So, F A B sin of theta because you know the distances, this is just giving you the slope of that 12 by 13. If you use the distances, geometrical distances which were given, you see it is easily uh, can be found out it is a triangle with slopes given as 12, 13 and 5. Okay, with the distances which are given. You can find out the slope like this. Okay, so I have quickly made a triangle. Okay, and I have used that to find out the slope also. Okay, so minus FAB sin theta, FCD sin theta, if this is theta, okay, if this is theta, okay, 
because both were symmetrically placed. So, both the angles are same. E y, e y is the vertical force over here. Okay. So, vertical component of this force, vertical component of this force and this force should equate. So, that is what is giving me quickly equation number 1. I will share this slide so that you can evaluate it yourself. But to get the thing, I think you understood it. It has, if you isolate a member, it has three forces. One is like this, okay. Another one is like this, okay. Angles are same. This is FAB, this is FCD, okay. And there is a force which is EY. Got it? So, all this vertical component, this vertical component, and this vertical component, all three, some of them should be equal. And that gives me equation number 3. Again, uh, minus, yes it is minus, one of them is negative. Only one is having a direction which is opposite, is it not? Let us say if EY I am taking positive, you can take it. If you can take EY as negative, you also have to take FCD component vertical is negative as well. Okay, okay, this one, this one, no? This one you are telling? Yes, sir. Yes. So, yes, it should be minus EY. Yes, correct. Okay. So, you are correct. Yes. So, again coming uh, to moment at E, okay, moment at E, if I take moment at this point, this point that means horizontal components are significant vertical components will pass through that point itself so horizontal component this horizontal component and a force external force component okay so 3 into 4 horizontal component horizontal component should equate to 0 is it okay fine so now yes so solving this and this immediately can give me, immediately can give me this FAB and FCD. Uh, I think there is some FY, 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 FY at which link? Uh, this is FAB and FCD which is found out using this. Uh, you have used FBD of ACE. ACE. I think this should have been uh, visible. No? This force. If I take here as minus EY. It is, it is already known and used, you know, EY was already calculated earlier, EY was 5 kilo Newton, okay, this, okay, 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 we have simply substituted that here, we have simply substituted as 5 kilo Newton and I have used that to find out this, yes, so this is correct, so this, uh, this can be substituted from the first equation that we did, okay, and you can derive this one, okay. Now coming to the summation of fx. So, total forces along x-axis for this particular link, not for the whole structure. Okay. So, that should be doable. So, sum of all the forces along x can give me ex. Can give me ex. So, this is how ex is also obtainable. Okay. So, ex can be obtained, although not using whole of the structure because you know it is over constrained system okay but using individual member if i isolate i can get ex and fx also now i'll know the force contributions okay so if ex is minus 5.4 newton so you can find out fx also okay you got it so far any individual member should also be in equilibrium now the member which is in consideration is ACE. So, ACE is acted upon by FCD cosine, FAB cosine, this force and EX force. 
with that ex can be found out because these two forces were found out from here fab and fcd so only unknown which was ex found out over ex okay so this is the force now free body of the entire frame again now you can consider the whole frame horizontal force this time i'll get fx also fx can be found out so this is the contribution due to this pin member so although this was over constrained system it was pinned and pinned at both the joints but it could it was solvable it was solvable is it not yes yes so it is not always that uh, if it is over constrained you cannot solve it using some internal member force balance you can find it out sometimes okay so cross check force body free body diagram on bdf now bdf is a member which i know all the forces i know fcd i know fab i know fx also fy is also known that means forces on this member is 100% known okay so now i can use this to as a check to verify whether those values were correct or not so i have randomly taken um, mbs moment at b equal to 0 moment at b equal to 0 okay and i found that is coming out to be 0 so that gives me a quick check that we have went all okay okay so this is how we did okay so these are the two examples i'll share this video anyway you can watch this come back to this and definitely verify with you okay so if you have any query you can come